Hey everybody, welcome back. James out here with you again. And today I'm gonna give you some raw accuracy test shooting of three shot group uh, at 100 yards with the Savage B Mag 17 Winchester Super Mag 20 grain B Max going about 3,100 feet per second at the muzzle. I got a target set up, I'm just getting the scope, scope dialed in at 100. Uh, you may have noticed I've done a video recently, if not, comparing this cartridge to the 17HMR and the 22 Magnum. So without further ado, let me get into the video and get to shooting and see what this little round's capable of. And I'm using a center point, uh, one and a half by six power arms, but that shouldn't really do anything. It just helps the shooter see, not the bullet itself. So we'll see. Alright guys, 100 yards. Let's see what this 17 Winchester Superman can do. Okay, so I got one down there that is a flyer out of the group, and I'm pretty sure that was on me because it was the last shot, and it did not feel good. So I'm going to take one more and see how well we do here. I'm going to get all comfy and relaxed. That one felt a lot better. All right, let's go down range, guys. 100 yards. So, probably thinking, why should I go to a 17 Super Mag if I got a 17 HMR? Well, supposedly the reason why they designed the 17 Super Mag, which is still the world's most powerful cartridge, rimfire, Magnum cartridge, since it's a uh, introduction, uh, it's just the downrange energy. If you think about it, 17 HMR shooting around 2,500, 2,600 feet per second with a 17 grain bullet. Well, this cartridge is shooting a 20 grain B Max. At least my gun, the Savage B Mag, is over 3,000 feet per second. The big power difference at the muzzle and downrange. So, ballistic, ballistic coefficient's a lot greater, carrying more energy more bullet weight at a faster velocity is going to trump a smaller bullet weight at a slower velocity. So, going down here at 100. Oh, yeah. So, let me show you my initial sight in here. Okay, guys, so this is my first three bullets at 100 yards once I got the gun bore sighted. And as you can see here, that's the flyer I was telling you about. But that was me because I did not have a good, uh, I wasn't relaxed and I didn't have good control of the rifle. Uh, this rifle, since it's a heavy barrel, it's the Savage B Mag with the stainless steel heavy barrel on it um, and with a heavy barrel the uh, the actual balance point is up higher on the stock the reason why I caught this was because this group right here I know it's only three shots but uh, 
as mentioned earlier, the difference between 17 HMR and this caliber Winchester Super Mag bullets are just a little more expensive. So, and as you can see, this thing is accurate no matter what. I mean, three shots, two are touching at 100 yards with a six power scope. I'll show you the actual accuracy or measure the distance center to center. Okay, so this is my first initial group right at one inch center to center there at 100 yards and that was with the my bags which i shoot with shooting bags caldwell attack driver bags the front bag uh was more towards the trigger guard which left the front end a little more uh tilt or teeter i guess Here's the next group, less than an inch, with the flyer, but not counting the flyer because that was on me. That is easily right under three quarters of an inch, guys. Let me get my three quarters of an inch, or I should say three eighths of an inch, excuse me, three eighths of an inch. So there's the half inch mark right there, and there's three eighths of an inch. It's just a hair or less, center to center, farther shots apart than three eighths of an inch. And that shot, I call it on me because it was on me. I wasn't relaxed. Standing, this is standing too, as you see. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, raw testing video. Just goes to show to me, and I've known this for a long time, that scope power really does not uh, mean anything as long as you're still, as long as you're relaxed. Um, a lot of people, you know, say breathing. I mean, to me, that's relaxing. You're in a relaxed state in mind. If you're not, if you're in a hurry, you know, you're just going to get flustered and everything else. So just take your time, be relaxed pull on the trigger easy pull you know don't jerk it unless it's a certain type of firearm that you found like myself i found certain type of firearms that like to be the trigger jerked but i have a certain hold on that and i found the hold on this rifle and i'll go back to the car and show you here in a second so here's the position of the front bag at where i shot the last group at and that one flyer could be more off than usual because the harmonics tuning back in i don't know 100 percent certainty but i do know that the last shot that i took on this hold at that position that it was spot on with the rest of the first two shots on that group so to me this truly matters because it keeps the barrel uh from bouncing no matter if it's a heavy barrel a pencil barrel whatever type of barrel you need to find the balance point and as you can see and it looks like just eyeballing it that the bags are apart at equal points um, if you haven't seen my other channel all about air guns i state that uh, my air guns like to be held equally apart on the grip so i just wanted to share these tips that i found that work for me that help me get better uh, i should say groups and not so much accuracy because that comes from the site itself not the uh, ammunition uh, more pre precision than anything is what I was shooting for today and then I could move my turrets and my reticle to that point of impact so all right guys well I appreciate you watching and I hope you get something from this video as always thanks again and we'll catch you on the next one